Lymphogranulomavirum is a sexually transmitted disease caused by the invasive serovars L1, L2, L2A or L3 of chlamydia trachomatis. LGV is primarily an infection of lymphatics and lymph nodes. Chlamydia trachomatis is the bacterium responsible for LGV. It gains entrance through breaks in the skin, or it can cross the epithelial cell layer of mucous membranes. The organism travels from the site of inoculation down the lymphatic channels to multiply within mononuclear phagocytes of the lymph nodes it passes. Signs and symptoms The clinical manifestation of LGV depends on the site of entry of the infectious organism, the sex contact site, and the stage of disease progression. Inoculation at the mucous lining of external sex organs, penis and vagina, can lead to the inguinal syndrome named after the formation of those or abscesses in the groin, inguinal, region where draining lymph nodes are located. These signs usually appear by three days to a month after exposure. The rectal syndrome arises if the infection takes place via the rectal mucosa, through anal sex, and is mainly characterized by proctocolitis symptoms. The pharyngeal syndrome is rare. It starts after infection of pharyngeal tissue, and bows in the neck region can occur. Primary stage LGV may begin as a self-limited painless genital ulcer that occurs at the contact side 3 to 12 days after infection. Women rarely notice a primary infection because the initial ulceration where the organism penetrates the mucosal layer is often located out of sight, in the vaginal wall. In men fewer than one-third of those infected notice the first signs of LGV. This primary stage heals in a few days. Erythematosum occurs in 10% of cases. Secondary stage The secondary stage most often occurs 10 to 30 days later, but can present up to 6 months later. The infection spreads to the lymph nodes through lymphatic drainage pathways. The most frequent presenting clinical manifestation of LGV among males whose primary exposure was genital is unilateral, in two-third of cases, lymphadenitis and lymphangitis, often with tender inguinal and or femoral lymphadenopathy because of the drainage pathway for their likely infected areas. Lymphangitis of the dorsal penis may also occur and resembles a string or a cord. If the root was anal sex the infected person may experience lymphadenitis and lymphangitis noted above. They may instead develop proctitis, inflammation limited to the rectum, the distal 10 to 12 cm, that may be associated with anal or ectal pain, tenesmus, and rectal discharge, or proctocolitis, inflammation of the colonic mucosa extending to 12 cm above the anus and associated with symptoms of proctitis plus diarrhea or abdominal cramps. In addition, symptoms may include inflammatory involvement of the paraerectal or perianal lymphatic tissues. In females, cervicitis, pyrometritis, or salpinitis may occur as well as lymphangitis and lymphadenitis in deeper nodes. Because of lymphatic drainage pathways, some patients develop an abdominal mass which seldom suppurates, and 20-30% develop inguinal lymphadenopathy. Systemic signs which can appear include fever, decreased appetite, and malaise. Diagnosis is more difficult in women and men who have sex with men who may not have the inguinal symptoms. Over the course of the disease, lymph nodes enlarge, as may occur in any infection of the same areas as well. Enlarged nodes are called bows. Bows are commonly painful. Nodes commonly become inflamed, thinning and fixation of the overlying skin. These changes may progress to necrosis, fluctuant and suburative lymph nodes, abscesses, fistulas, strictures, and sinus tracts. During the infection and when it subsides and healing takes place, fibrosis may occur. This can result in varying degrees of lymphatic obstruction, chronic edema, and strictures. These late stages characterized by fibrosis and edema are also known as the third stage of LGV and are mainly permanent. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video thumbs up. Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.